crepe myrtle here, you can definitely tell that aphids were once present. I can see some evidence on the underneath side of the leaf blade, but you can also zoom in here and you can see a lot of the bark scale on the upper kind of sapling branches. And so this type of insect, it's a, and you even can zoom in here and see it. So this might be more of an issue where the bark scale is really affecting this tree and they're a sucking insect. So they insert their mouth parts into the, you know, actual sapling or stem of the tree. They feed on it, then they secrete a sap. When they secrete that sap, it actually gets on your leaf blades. And then what happens is, is a mold or fungus spore starts to develop on that. It's called black sooty mold and it really starts to affect the aesthetic appeal of your plant. It also can reduce its photosynthesis ability as it starts to, you know, cover the leaf surface. Um, you know, again, several different insecticides can help rid that. It, it, it is a little bit of a cumbersome task. Um, the other thing that you need to make sure you're doing too is that when this plant or this tree starts to, you know, go into its defoliation process and when it goes dormant, you know, kind of trim back some of the, you know, saplings are the tree branches you don't want to cut anything less than you know pinky um, in diameter um, and it can help control that as well as well as maybe getting out here with a little scrub brush and uh, you know a bucket of water and you know just try to get it off the plant and then wash it off and you'll have better luck with this plant coming back out into bloom and foliage you know a lot healthier next spring um, as you can tell with a kind of like chalky milky substance on the leaf blade it has a fungus that's real particular uh, to affecting this type of tree, which is a crepe myrtle. It's powdery mildew. It's harder to prevent it this time of the year, just as it's better to be controlled uh, right before the spring with a systemic fungicide that the tree will hold on to through the uh, complete you know, growing season before it goes dormant. Um, but again, as this disease takes hold of the tree, you can do some curative fungicides, but it's just a little bit more difficult Ultimately, you know, crepe myrtle is a real hardy tree, so it's not going to degrade the tree completely. Um, it's just going to, you know, affect the aesthetic appeal of it per se. Um, you can also see a lot of webbing in the tree. Uh, you know, I am seeing some spider mite damage just as I can see the leaf blade discoloration and the spotting on the leaf blades. And I've also noticed some. Uh, kind of like a syrup or sap on the top of the leaf blade so I know at one point in time this crepe myrtle as well had aphids. Uh, we have a comprehensive uh, ornamental tree shrub care program at Weedex that can definitely mend this tree. It might take a few treatments but it's always best to be on a preventative maintenance schedule on ornamental landscaping such as crepe myrtles. It's also got a little bit of bark scale on it as well. Um, if you zoom in right here, you can see this little white speck on there. Um, bark scale, crepe myrtle bark scale has really just been prevalent, you know, is known in our industry over the last 20, 25 years. Very difficult to control. Several different insecticides out there that can do it. Um, and the one way that you can tell this is alive or not is if I take my finger and I smash it, if it just scrapes off as like a powder, you know it's uh, dead and it's just left behind. But if it leaves your fingernail red, that definitely means that that's alive. And sometimes you'll even get crawler crepe myrtle bark scales where they'll actually physically be crawling on the tree. Thank you for your time. And feel free to contact us at Weedex Lawn Care for any of your lawn care needs. And please remember to join our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook for lawn care tips.